Ladies and gentlemen, this is Xiaomi from GamingPlateau.tk and today we're going to look at the game called Blur. It's a typical racing game, besides in this game you actually get to crush your opponents and they will crush you, eventually. I just want to say that normally I don't play racing games because I am very very bad at it. But let's see how it goes. So this is your loading screen. Um, it's a typical loading screen, just showing the info of the racing track that you're going to be on, how many laps you're going to drive, and all that. Okay, here we go. Don't worry, this is not a bug in the game or anything else. It's actually supposed to be there for some odd reason. That green car is me. That is the counter for when you're going to start. There we go, now I get control. Okay. The unusual thing about this game is that you have to press Q to speed up and you'll have to press S to use your special ability thingies that you'll get, there you see, three squares pop up, meaning that I can carry three, three items at a time. The game blur is actually quite good, May. the quality is great, um, the sounds are actually okay, um, I actually thought it would be a lot worse than it is, but apparently I was wrong again, and there I missed the power-ups. Anyway, those were the power-ups that you saw, and they will be able to blow you up, or give you extra speed, or yeah, he just got extra speed, but crashed into the wall, so that doesn't really count. Uh, the green bar in your back mirror is your health bar, so to speak. If that one goes down, you'll be reset. As you can see there, now I get this mine bomb thing after me. You'll be able to see that every time I get this red bar in the bottom of the screen. And trust me, it's annoying as hell. Uh, those are lightning fields, you would like to avoid those since they kinda crash you a lot. I think it's two hits by them and then you're dead. And here comes another. And you can't, apparently I can't avoid them. And it kind of pisses me off, but I got over the finishing line with a nice front loop. And, as said, the graphics are actually good, and now I understand why the game is called Blur. If you look at the road, it's all blurry because it's moving so fast, we're racing so fast, those were bomb. Um, these are the speed power-ups. Maybe you think, oh no, my game lags. No, it doesn't. It's just like... It takes time for that super boost of power to get out through your car, as it does like this. And I love that it actually slows everything down, not only the car, but also the music is just like... <laughs> so, it's actually quite amazing that... Um, it's actually the first time that I've actually been hooked on a, on, on a racing game. Um, it's normally nothing I would do or play, because... Normally I don't like them, but Blur is actually one of those games that is worth playing and yeah, if you have Blur, I understand you. Uh, if you don't have it or own it, I'll, I would recommend you buy a copy of it from your local game store or something. If you have a GameStop or a... Yeah, a game shop that sells old, uh, not old, but used games or such if you can't find it in GameStop or anything else. I usually buy all of my games in GameStop, uh, but we also got another game shop that has uh, a lot of old games instead. I don't know how I would translate the name to English, but it's called The Reading Horse. I know it sounds stupid as hell, but it actually has a lot of old games that I didn't even think were possible to get in more. Um, so if you don't have Blur, you like racing games, you like Total Destruction, like Burnout or some other games that uh, has a Total Destruction as a car game, um, I recommend getting Blur. It's fun to play, there is an online part as well, this one is offline. Um, but Get your hands on Blur if you really, really like um, racing games and if you want good graphics and such. 
Well, this is actually all that I can tell about this game. Good graphics, great music, and uh, good gameplay. Uh, I'll see you next time. The next review will be on Warriors Uruchi. I don't even pronounce that right, but anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.